Good morning, guys. I got a package over the weekend. I'm so happy about it. Let me see if I can get it open. Oh, yes. I'm happy to not have to start another week without my Keto Brains Nootropic. Yay! I'm so happy it's here. All right, it's coffee time, so let's make some coffee. All right, let's make some coffee. Yay, to Keto Brains Nootropic. So glad that it arrived. popping in for a few minutes. I wanted to just talk to you guys a little bit about the weekend. Um, I'm having a second cup of coffee. This is a decaf um, kicking horse coffee with ghee. And um, I wanted to just mention that I have been having headaches for the last few days. So um, I think I had a headache on Friday, one on Saturday, one on Sunday. So we'll see what happens today. But that's unusual for me to have headaches like that. Um, they're not terrible, but maybe just either a little tension headache or maybe a little sinus headache. I'm not sure, but that's really unusual. So I had a great time over the weekend um, traveling over to Montello, Wisconsin with my mom. And, um, you know, we got a chance to see Carrie and I got a chance to finally meet JT in person and his wife, Anna. Got a chance to meet Jen Mann, which was just absolutely fab fabulous. Um, love her. Got a chance to see Emma and Katie and um, Alyssa again. So that was really awesome. Um, and then of course, Dr. Kiltz was there. He's incredible, you guys. Um, just a heart of compassion and love. I just, I love Dr. Kilt so much. Um, also got to see Adam at Carnivore today. You know, he's a, he, I feel like he's such a really good friend of mine. Um, I just love him as well. I'm trying to think who else was there. Nia from Nia's Way. Well, that's one of my girlies. And so, um, and her little girl, Ileana, she didn't come, but I, I love her and uh, just uh, was so happy. I sent her a little voice, a little video memo on her mom's phone so I could say hi to her because she's such a little sweetheart. And um, just everybody was that was there, you know, Angie Heibel. Um, I didn't get a chance to talk to Carnivore Mommy, but I saw her there and I waved at her. Um, so if you were there and I get, didn't get a chance to talk to you, I apologize for that. I was trying to greet people, but gosh, it was so, there was a lot of people there. And um, what I wanna say to you about the, the Carnivore Diet documentary, Healing Humanity, The Power of a Proper proper Human Diet. You guys, this film is going to be absolutely incredible. Absolutely incredible. I cannot wait for you guys to see it. Um, I appreciate Carrie and Adam and Carrie's family because they're so generously giving of their time 
and you know then sharing her husband with all of us their husband and father with all of us and the effort it's the quality of this movie is absolutely amazing so um i know that everybody is going to be looking forward to it coming out i'm looking forward to it coming out um one of the really great things we, we got to see a little bit of an excerpt so oh my gosh i i laughed i cried i everything in just a, the few moments that we were able to share so um I just cannot wait for that film to come out. It's going to be absolutely incredible. So anyway, I wanted to just come in and talk a little bit about the weekend and say how grateful I am that I had the opportunity to go. Um, that's going to be my last, of course, trip for this year. And so I'm already starting to think about next year and what are the events that I'm going to want to um, put my attention towards being able to attend. Um, certainly Hack Your Health is one. That's the big one. It's going to be in Tampa next year. I think it's going to be in November. So I'm already planning to be able to be there for that. And then I've got to just look and see what other opportunities there may be available for me. One thing that I um, want to mention is that I'm thinking about trying to plan a Michigan meetup. So if you would be interested in that, can you please let me know down in the comments because I would be trying to do something like that next summer. Um, but I want to make sure that we're going to have participation from the community. So um, let me know if you would be interested in coming to a Michigan meetup. Um, and maybe if you're, you know, if you're interested in teaming up with me, we could get together and put together something like, put together something like that. So let me know, give me a comment. Uh, let me know what your thoughts are about doing a, a meetup in Michigan. All right, you guys, I'm going to um, go ahead and get back to work, but I wanted to come in here and talk about that a little bit, and um, and I'll, I'll see you guys in a little bit. But you guys, I am getting ready to eat some food, so before I do that, I'm going to do my GKI testing. I uh, was not able to do it yesterday because I didn't bring my kit and stuff with me. But here we are back at home again, and we will go ahead and get this tested. Do the pinky finger today. Okay. Seventy-six for glucose. <clears throat> One point oh. <laughs> 1.0, oh, wow, okay, let's see what that looks like. My GKI for today is 4.22, which is um, a moderate level of ketosis. My Dr. Boz ratio is 76. Uh, so, interesting. I'm trying to think, what did I have yesterday? Oh, I had a variety of things yesterday on my way back from, uh, on my way back from the uh, trip. I had a lot of cheese. I had some beef sticks. Um, had a couple burger patties with cheese. Um, and oh, I also had a little tiny bit of heavy cream. So hmm, we'll see what happens tomorrow. All right, you guys, this is what I'm having for breakfast. I got two slices of bacon, three scrambled eggs with American cheese. I used all of the grease from the bacon and the eggs. All right, this is chuck roast. Cooked it in the crock pot. 